The BVM is an instrument that measures the volume of a specific product. The system is fully computerized and is conveniently operated using menu-based commands. A product is placed on a rotating support and a laser moves in a half circle around the object. The dedicated software for the BVM calculates, among others, volume, dimensions and specific volume of the object and presents the results and a three-dimensional image on the screen. The results are stored in a database file on the hard drive for further processing and can be transferred to other computers if necessary. The system comes with all necessary accessories. Only suitable product attachments are extra. A PC is needed to run the instrument and for storing test data. In routine use, when you have already defined test conditions, the following is how to operate the instrument. Turn on the power of the BVM. Open the VolkCalc software by clicking Start, All Programs, BVM, VolkCalc. Warm up the instrument using the Quick Warm Up option. The laser arm will move to its horizontal position and the chuck will start to rotate. If your instrument is equipped with a load cell, it needs to be calibrated from time to time. The frequency of this is up to the operator. It is advisable to set up a routine for the frequency. Click on Load Cell Calibration on the toolbar. Remove all the objects such as support shaft and attachments from the chuck and click OK. Input the weight of the calibration weight. Place the calibration weight carefully on the chuck. Make sure the chuck is open enough so that the weight can stand securely. And click on OK. Click on OK once the calibration is successful. Note, if a calibration has been made without the correct calibration weight, the weight readings will be incorrect. Initially, the instrument needs to be calibrated using the calibration cylinder. Make a routine to perform this regularly. That could be once a day. Attach the calibration support shaft with a plastic cylinder to the instrument. Click on Laser Calibration on the toolbar. Click on OK to start the calibration. Click on OK to accept the calibration results. Click on Yes to save the calibration result. It is prudent to do three measurements after each other and to check the result. They should not vary by more than five points from each other. The following is how you operate the instrument. Select the product group using the drop-down menu. Select the correct product name profile using the drop-down menu. Centralize the object using the levers. Use the wheel on the side of the instrument to move the levers. Select the appropriate support shaft attach the correct attachment in line with the lower lever on the centralization mechanism. This is important as the product will then be centralized in the system. To tear the load cell, click on the green button. Fix the product to the support shaft and attachment. In order for the width and depth calculations to be correct, it is important to place the object with a flat base facing away from the red marking on the chuck. If it is necessary to use the top support shaft in order to hold the object in a steady position, it is also necessary to manually weigh the object and should be done before lowering the top support shaft. By pressing the red button, the weight is registered. Then lower the top support shaft, making sure that product is fast and in a vertical position. Click on Run and click on OK to start the test.
results. When the measurement is ready, results are presented as firstly graph, a three-dimensional rotational picture, secondly table with multiple data on volume, dimensions, area and density. Here we are only showing another bread type but the operational procedure is the same. For small objects, it's not necessary to use the top support shaft. And for round products, it is not necessary to position the product using the red marking on the chuck.